Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I do have the Model Wands Color Cube. They sent this over to me as PR. I am so thankful that I got to try this. I know a lot of you guys have been curious on these solid cream gel polish color cubes, and I was just so excited to get this. I was not able to pick out which one I wanted. I do know that they have a couple on their website. I will have them linked down below, and I will also be linking this one down below. Here, I'm just going to peel back the sticker and just read to you guys what is on the back of the box here. Um, I just wanted to show the, show the back of the box and read just because these are new products. These are high quality, low smell, long lasting, no harm to skin, and easy to apply. Also on the back, it shows the ingredients, direction, storage, warning, and the contact us. I really like the box. I love the hollow. It is very simple and cute and I just love it so much. Opening it up, I'm just going to quickly unbox it and show everything you get. You get the color cube, of course. You also get a portable brush and then you get the instruction manual. Um, I'm not sure the price point of these. I will have it popped up on screen. But overall, I mean, this is a very nice product. On the instructions here, it just shows the basic instructions, the application and such. Here are the six different ones they have. I'm not sure if they have more than these or all of these, but absolutely stunning colors. I really love the whole vibe of this. I don't know, just really loving it. We get the little brush here. This brush you do... It's like a small brush and then you take it out and put it into the other piece and you create a longer brush and then to put it away you just clean it and put it back into the little top part of the brush. I really like this brush. It was really high quality and I also liked how it was like you could store it inside of the cap and it just created like a cap for it and it just made it smaller. I really enjoyed the like fact that brush could do that. Here is the color cube. I like how the color cube looks. It's very nice. They sent me the Chewy Taro Balls Gel Polish Collection. Don't forget these are solid cream gels. When you open it up, here is what it looks like. It looks exactly like a makeup palette. And then it comes with like the little, um, I don't know, like a protective layer. And then you just peel that back. It showed on the protective layer that if there was small water droplets on the gel polishes that they would be fine. I think that's just from kind of like moisture or something like that. But here are all of the colors they sent me. I like these colors, but let me tell you, when I opened this up, it took me a couple of days to think about what I wanted to film. I was really hoping they sent me the craziest jelly bean just because those colors were like very spring and summery vibes. And I got the absolute opposite, but I still really enjoyed the nail set I created, even though it did take me a few days to think of a nail set that I wanted to do. I really do like this though. I like how it comes in like a palette. It's kind of like a painter's palette or a makeup palette and you have all of your colors right there. Storage is going to be a little bit difficult just because I'm not used to storing my gel polishes in containers like this, but I was able to just put it in a drawer and it was all good. I am going to go ahead and swatch all of these colors. You do get nine colors in each of these, which is very nice. It's a good variety. Like, I just really like how you can take out your little gel polish solid gel palette and have like all of the different colors. I don't know. I just really, really like this. I also think it is something really good for nail art. Like, when I think of solid gel polishes or solid cream gels or just this whole palette idea, I really get into the mind where this would be really good for nail art just because, first of all, the polishes are already on like a palette and you are already needing to use a separate brush versus the brush that comes in each gel polish bottle. So having these palettes, I think they would be absolutely perfect if you love nail art. 
I actually did use this palette today for some nail art. I didn't do much nail art just because, again, I was really trying to pick out a nail set that I could try doing nail art. That way, I could give a honest review on doing nail art with these type of solid gels. But I was just struggling so much. It took me like two to three days just to try to think of a nail set that I wanted to do with these colors and really try to focus on some nail art. I didn't do much nail art in the set that I did, but it did give me a good feel for all of the colors and just using the solid cream gels in general. So I did just use the brush and I also had some acetone in a dampen dish. And once I used the color, I made sure to clean the brush good. That way when I moved on to the next color, I wouldn't contaminate any of the other colors with the previous color I used. That is one step you do need to additionally take when you are using the solid cream gel polish palettes. Here are all of the colors, just a little close up. Here are all of the colors. These are two coats of each of the color plus the Model 1's top coat. Um, one thing about these solid gels, I'm not sure if it was just me, the way I was applying them or what, they were a very creamy and buttery texture to apply, but I felt like all of these colors definitely needed two coats just so you could build up the color and really have that full pigmentation. I felt like they were good, easy, butter-like to apply, but definitely you will need to add two or more coats to really get that high level of like the color and a strong, nice color, not have any like sparse spots or places where there doesn't show to be much polish. But overall, I really liked using the colors. I really love all of the colors that are in here. And overall, I just think they are super great quality. Also, you get a bunch of product because it is solid and you could tip this upside down and it's like a Dairy Queen um, milkshake or whatever, Dairy Queen blizzard, like how you can tip it upside down and the product won't fall out. So now we are going to be moving on to the nail set. I did use my 401 Bella Vina and the mini lamp to cure on my nail tips using the A-Press dupe method. Now I'm just going to do some quick filing and shaping to the nails. I went ahead and filed the free edge of the nails just to file off like that little piece of plastic on the free edge. I'm now taking a cuticle drill bit and my e-file and I'm going to clean up around the cuticle area. Doing this really makes your nails look a lot more natural when you apply the product because I'm going to be applying the gel polish to the nails. You will want to make sure you do this step if you want it to look a lot more just natural and fitting to your cuticle area. So I'm just taking that drill bit and going around the cuticle area. I really love this drill bit because you can get close to your skin on a low speed and it won't hurt at all and it will just really clean up that nail surface. I also am taking my buffing block and just buffing the tops of all of the nails. That way I can remove all of the shine. This is a very important step. That way when you apply your product, it does last for a long period of time. Another very important step is taking your base coat. I am using the Model 1's base coat and I'm just going to be applying this to all of the nail tips. You do wanna make sure you do this because this really helps with creating a sticky layer and allowing all of your gel polish and nail decorations and stuff like that to better adhere to the nail tip surface. So I'm just going to apply this to all of the nails and cure my nail lamp for 30 seconds.
Now, like I said, this nail set took me a couple days to do and think about just because I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I did decide I wanted to do a angel themed nail set. And in the end, I absolutely loved how this nail set turned out. So first I'm starting with the cream nude shade in the bottom right hand corner. And I'm going to be using this on a few of the nails doing this color as a full coverage nail, but I am going to be using this color on all of the nails but you'll see what I'm going to be doing with the other two nails in a few moments here but I just love applying this to the nails it is literally so satisfying to do it just applies so smoothly and like it's like you're taking butter and just buttering toast I don't know it's just so satisfying to me I just had so much fun doing this nail set it was also just so satisfying like I literally just kept wanting to apply layer after layer after layer because like it was literally so satisfying to do and watch so again I'm just going to be taking this color and I honestly forget oh I'm going to be using it on my index my ring my middle finger and my pinky and then for my ring finger and my thumb I'm going to be using it also but creating a marble design so I'm first starting off with the three fingers my index my middle and my pinky. I'm going to be applying the first coat of this color to all of those nails and curing for 30 to 60 seconds in my nail lamp. Um, I do want to say that you want to make sure that you apply a thin even coat of this. You don't want to bulk it on. Really it is super easy to apply. I feel like applying solid gels or cream gels is a lot easier than applying regular gel polish. It's just easier to do it so you don't bulk up the polish. So I just really think it's a lot easier to use these polishes and not bulk the product up on your nail tip versus using a regular gel polish. After I have applied that to the three nails and cured for 30 to 60 seconds in my nail lamp, now I'm going to be moving on to my thumb and my ring finger and I am going to be creating some marble design. So I'm taking that same cream nude color. I'm not sure really how to describe it other than that way, but I'm going to be applying that onto my thumb again, keeping it a very nice even layer and just applying this to the whole nail. Now, because I'm going to be doing a marble design, I don't like to cure this first layer. You could definitely go in, create the first layer, cure that, and then go in with a second layer, but I kind of wanted to incorporate a little bit of clear throughout my ombre. I just really like the effect it gives, so I wanted to keep this as the first layer of the ombre and keep it uncured because I was going to be blending and I keep saying ombre. I'm meaning to say, um, what am I meaning to say? Marble. I'm so sorry. Anytime I said ombre, I meant marble. I'm doing a marble, not an ombre. So I'm keeping this layer as the first layer for my marble. I apply that to the full nail with an even coat. Now I'm going in and just picking out two other colors that I wanted to add in my marble. I also picked out this beautiful gold shade, which is from their newest collections, like their travel collections. I will have it linked below. It is a beautiful gold gel polish and I just knew I had to incorporate this in the nail set, especially because I was focusing this nail set on the angel theme and I just thought this color was absolutely perfect. I am taking one of these nail art brushes from Model Wands, which will also be linked down below, and I'm just taking that to dot on some of the gold gel polish. Once I have that applied, I am cleaning off my brush and then I'm going in to marble all of the colors together. Marbling, I think, is one of the easiest nail art or nail designs out there. It is so simple and very, like, it can get so creative. You just want to take your brush and kind of marble all of the colors, just mixing them together but not mixing them too much to where they mix to create one color. You kind of want to have streaks of all of the colors in your marble and that really gives out the marble effect. I really love doing marbles this way. I think it's so easy and so fun and it's just very creative. Once you like your marble, you can either add in more color. For example, here I'm taking more of the gold 
just because I felt like my marble needed a little bit more glitter and gold effect to it. And then I'm going to also marble that in. And then once I really enjoy the marble, I am going to pop this into my nail lamp to cure for 30 to 60 seconds to hold that marble in and make sure everything is all cured. After the marble is all finished and cured, I just love how it was looking and I am going to be repeating the same process on my ring finger. I did the exact same colors and the same exact process just to create another fun marble. After I was finished with that marble and liked the way it looked, I did cure for 30 to 60 seconds and moved on to the second coat of this cream nude shade on the rest of the nails. After the base color was built up to how I liked it on my index, my middle, and my pinky, here I am taking a dotting tool and the top right shade, which is kind of like an off-white color. I would describe it and I'm just taking my dotting tool and I'm going to be doing some nail art. This nail art was very simple. Like I mentioned earlier, I was having troubles with picking a nail set that I really wanted to do with these colors and also do a lot of creative nail art. So definitely this is not too creative, but I did create some clouds using this solid gel polish and I absolutely loved it so much. I also really enjoyed creating the marbles with this solid gel polish. It was literally so easy and so much fun. I just love these palettes a lot. I don't know, like, I just, all I can think about is I like them because all of the colors are there. I can like open up the palette, have all of the colors I want to use for a specific nail set and not need to open up polish bottles. I don't know, I just feel like it's so convenient and so easy, especially when doing nail art because with nail art you are obviously switching from different brush to different brush and it's just easier to have all of your colors there. Just grab out some brushes, have a bowl of acetone and just clean your brush and as you go and dip it into the next color or do whatever. I just, I don't know. I think it's so fun and so easy. So I am taking this like off-white color to create some clouds. I'm using my dotting tool to create like a cloud shape. And then I'm also using a brush just to kind of feather out the cloud and give it like the puffs and the, I don't know, like the definition to make it look more like a cloud and just make it look more realistic. 
Clouds are super easy to do as a beginner. I really like drawing clouds too. I think it just makes a nail set and it can take that empty space and just create like something fun in the empty space. Clouds are very fun and just remember clouds in the sky look different. So your clouds do not have to be perfect at all. You can just get creative and draw on some clouds and that is exactly what I did on the cream nude color nails and then once I was finished with all of my clouds and liked them, liked them, I cured for 30 to 60 seconds in the nail lamp. After the cloud nail art was all on and cured, I pulled out some of my angel water decals and stuck them. I cut out the ones I wanted to use and just put them into the water. Water decals are very easy to use. You just cut out the water decals that you want to use and then you place them into like a bowl of water or a dish of water. Let them soak for a little while. I don't know really how long to let them soak. I kind of just let them soak until they slide off the paper like so. I then use my tweezers and just place it on the nail just like a sticker and I just love these angel water decals so so much. I purchased these in the very beginning of my nail journey from Amazon. I don't know if I'll be able to find them. I'll try looking for them, but I love them so much. They are so adorable, and I just love all the details and color in them. I don't know. They just look so cool. Another thing is I think they really look hand-drawn. I don't know if it's because they're water decals instead of stickers or what it is, but I really think they fit the nail set so perfectly and didn't look out of place even though like how much color they had. I just really think they fit really well with the nail set and they were also super easy to apply like... I just had so much fun. One thing I don't like about water decals is letting them dry before you apply your top coat. I always struggle with that. Um, if you have any tips and tricks on that, comment down below because I really haven't found anything out yet other than trying to dap them on like a paper towel before I put them onto the nail, but I never know when they are fully dry enough to then apply my top coat. I kind of just struggle applying my top coat and try to float it on. That way it doesn't move my water decals all over the place. But I did let them sit for a little bit. Now I'm going in with my Model 1's top coat. I'm going to be applying this to all of the nails and curing for 30 to 60 seconds in my nail lamp. I did want to mention with the marble nails, because I kept the layers very thin, it was not hard at all to apply my top coat and it just evened it out and made the nail surface smooth. I just wanted to mention that in case anyone was wondering if the surface of the nail was like bumpy because of the marble marble. It was not at all. It was a very nice and smooth surface. After the top coat was cured, I pulled out some bling because I decided I wanted to add some more gold into this nail set. I'm taking my McCart rhinestone glue and I'm going to be gluing on some like stars and moons and just different shapes of stars and just charms and stuff like that. I really love these so much. I cut a lot of this out because of how badly I was off camera, but what I did is I took my rhinestone glue, placed a dot of rhinestone glue where I wanted to place a charm. I placed the charm and then I cured with my flashy light for just a couple seconds just to make sure it kind of had a hold and then once I was completely finished with applying all of the charms I did put my hand into the big lamp to make sure all of the charms were fully cured and I did a cure for about 30 to 60 seconds that way I knew for sure they were all cured and the rhinestone glue was fully cured and they would last for a long period of time. 
again. I apologize for being off camera at this point. This nail set took a pretty long time with all of the marbling, the nail art, the water decals, and then doing this. At this point, I was kind of just trying to get the nail set done because I was loving it so much and I just wanted to see the final look where I was just kind of drifting off camera a little bit. So I did cut a lot of this out, but you will in the end see all of the fun gold accents that I added to the cloud and angel nails. I also, for the ring finger, I added a chunkier rhinestone um, charm and then I also added a beautiful moon with pearls. As you can see right here in this clip, I do change the color of the rhinestone to a rhinestone that fits a little bit more better with the color in the nail set, but I was going to do this to the thumb as well, but then I decided no one really even sees the thumb and I will just pass on that and save my charms and rhinestones. So I went ahead, finished this up, and then I cured to make sure it will have that full cure. And now I'm going to be adding on a nail piercing. I was so excited for this. I have purchased a bunch of like dangle charms and piercing charms from Shein. So I will have that video linked up in the cards because I showed all of the ones I purchased. And then I also purchased purchase this dangle charm piercing kit from Amazon and it just includes like these little drills where you just kind of twist into your nail to create that hole. Honestly, let me tell you, this was my first time doing this and I was super scared. I thought I was going to need my boyfriend's help to number one, pierce the hole into my nail and then be able to put the charm on for me. And I was afraid because I just wanted to finish the nail set and be done and he was at work. But I was actually able to do it myself. So I was so happy with myself and you'll like see how happy I get once I get the charm in place and fully on. You'll see me like shake and just get so happy. I loved how it looked so much. I don't know why I am just now doing these piercings on my nails. They are totally out of the world, super cute, and just the one that I chose matched perfectly with this nail set. I chose a gold moon, and it was so perfect. I absolutely loved it, and it was so quick and easy to do, but I'm just going to finish off with this. You'll see me struggle a little bit, but then I finally get it, and then we're just going to top this set off with some cuticle oil. After I got the piercing charm on, I was absolutely loving this nail set and I couldn't think of anything else to add or top it off. So we're just going to be applying my cuticle oil, rubbing that in to nourish my cuticles and top off this nail set. I absolutely love how this nail set turned out. I loved everything about it, the colors, even though they were neutral and I had a feeling that I wasn't going to love it because I've been more in the bright and colorful vibes. I absolutely loved this nail set so much especially the piercing charm and all of the angels and just the gold accents. I thought it was so beautiful. I really love this nail set so much. Like, look at it. It's so cute. I love it. It's very, very cute. Oh my god, I can't get over it. 
I love the piercing charm so much. If you have not tried out piercing charms, I definitely recommend it. I will have my Shein haul linked up below so you can check out all the ones I purchased. I will also be linking down below all of these Model 1's color cubes. I will be linking their website how you can see all of the colors. And then I will mainly be focusing on the Chewy Taro Balls in case you do want to recreate this nail set because it is just so beautiful and, and, out, and out of the world. I don't know why I haven't really created any angel nail sets, but I absolutely love the way this nail set turned out. I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure you give it a like and check the description box for all of the neat all of the links for the products I used. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.